I said feed him to the lions. What's going on, Cole Fab? I happen to be poet and guess who I'm with? Ah, je m'appelle David Vujanic. And why is he speaking in French? Because man's in Marseille ah. and I must say it's mad. Fan park behind us, mm. 2-2 beach. beach. Man's on his bonjour thing. Come on. It's crazy, you know? Je suis un uh, Marseille. Uh, le, le, le foot. We're doing comments below, innit? Is that show you leave the comments below? And some of them are. Mm. Some of them are. Oh. And there's an epic moment in this show. We hold iPads and we say. Uh, comments of the week where we discussed last week's comments and any other business. Now, obviously, <laughs> as you can see, with us being in France, with the Euros being in France, we're not exactly going to talk about croquet, are we? We're no. talking about the Euros. Talking about the Euros. Now, I can give you this wonderful intro of all the things that we're going to speak about, but mm. just stay tuned and watch it. I can't deal with all that right now. Let's talk about important matters. Important matters. Because myself, and Boudreaux at a game in Marseille. England! Let's talk about England. Boys, all right, boys. All right, major tournament. Right. I'm excited. I'm in France. I got my hippie shirt on. I'm thinking, yeah, Marseille, beaches. Yeah, a couple riots and that. I thought, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do him. The Russians, come on, easy group. We got this. Pause. Michael says, England are a joke of a nation. They always get to an easy group and breeze it. Yet when it gets comes to the big games, they actually tournament, they bottle it. Yeah, the fans are blah, 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 blah. Basically, he's vexed, isn't it? Just vexed. like me, just like Vuj. I'm vexed. This is a mad thing. I'm me vexed. Vuj were there. I'm pissed off, you know. Je m'appelle David Vujanic. I'm here in Marseille. I've come all the way here to, to, to nearly die. And I'm watching a game. And what are we doing? Seriously. We couldn't put it to bed. The tactics from Roy Hodgson. Just Roy Hodgson out. Hashtag it. Do whatever you want. I've had enough of the lad. He's been here for, what, three major tournaments now, yeah? We're doing all right, yeah? We're winning 1-0. All you have to do, put, a, put a someone with pace up front, just get that second goal, you win it, and it's cool. We got the victory, but no, what did he do? He put James Milner on, then gives the ball away. Then it's a foul. We, got, we play so conservatively, we, we're not ever going to win a major tournament. Thief Anto has said uh, at the end of his comment, shame they underperform when it matters. I also underperform when it matters because I was meant to be in a cab ride with Vuj early in the morning to the airport. I lost my passport, found my passport. Vuj was on the plane, got another flight, arrived in Marseille and we went to the game. Check this out. Marseille, poet forgot his passport as he does. Here, waiting to see the boys. Didn't really want something. Didn't mean I wanted nothing. Makes no sense, but no bumping. Tomorrow can be a fun fling. Keep it short, got a long thing. She was down when I said I'd pick her up. Run down, show where ain't nobody cook as us. She was well ahead. You don't have this in England, do you? Two tools, thinking about four feet in a. Fan zone and I bumped into the McDonald's ticket ring up with a nice game. Mate, what's your name? John. Nice to meet you. Are you happy yeah, to yeah. be here? Absolutely buzzing. Tonight, what are you expecting? I think it's going to be quite convincing. I think so as well. Maybe, I think a 2-0. Myself and his beautiful gentleman, that's one of the tickets. We'll be sitting next to each other at the game. I'm buzzing. He's buzzing. Let's be having ya. Yeah, me. Okay. Come on, England. Oh, it has made it. We're on the train to the game. Come on, England. Is this the moment? Is this the moment? Russia have equalised in the 91st minute. It's absolute scenes over there. There you have it, it's absolutely kicked off at the end between the fans. <laughs> So, Poet, uh, final impressions. We drew one on against Russia, 90th minute equalizer. Roy Hodgson cannot inspire fucking water to be wet. That's all I've got. Well, there you have it. Harry Kane taking corners. Fuck off, innit? Just fuck off. Why is Harry Kane taking corners from? Why is Harry Kane taking corners? He's a striker who's good in the air. Harry Kane, striker, good in the air. Taking corners. I'm just looking around for the sense. Sorry, I'm Where is the sense? The Where line. is the sense right now? Ha hashtag corners. Hashtag corners. Explain to me why Harry Kane is taking corners. Why? Why am I like? Why? 
English fans seem to always get violent at international tournaments. At least that's how media portray them. I mean, I like the team, but the travelling fans seem like assholes. You know why I'm wearing this? And why I'm wearing this? And why poets wearing that? Because I'm, I'm not, I'm not English around them fans. When I see them Russians and that, nah, nah, I'm. Je m'appelle David, mate. Him, Swedish. Why do you look like a hippie? I ain't trying to get identified as a hooligan and get battered. Why would you come to a country that has so many reasons to smile to meet up and fight? Yeah. It just does. But men, you know what? You guys don't make sense to me. None of you. None of the fans were completely innocent. During the day, we were in the main square, and I did hear some English lads saying, going up to Russians saying, we want to have a fight. And the Russians came later on, 50 of them organized and said, all right, let's have a fight. And you could see that they, they were hooligans from Russia that probably train in the woods since they were like five years old. I cannot wait to fight the English man. Like, do you know what I mean? And it's, this is their life. Can yeah. we say though, it is a minority. It is don't, a minority. Think, don't think it's the majority. It's a minority. It is a minority and it's unfortunate that a minority is spoiling it for yeah, we saw. the local citizens, yeah. for all the other nations yeah. that are here conducting themselves in an appropriate manner. And we saw manner. loads of Russians as well, you know, taking selfies. They're one nil down, oh, taking bruv. selfies. They're definitely not all hooligans. Maybe that is just social media hooliganism, but it's not fighting hooliganism. All right, let's move on to another game that happened to kick off the Euros. It is the host nation, France, and they played a game against a side that I thought to myself, well, oh, you should be beating them quite easily. They managed to get a 2-1 win with Dimitri Payet scoring in the final minute of his left foot. Top bins. You know Man like Maximum, Logan Sama, Spencer, Ethan Bazinga, they're all going mental on my Twitter timeline, but he's leaving anyway. But no, France, what do you reckon about that, that game? That goal was beautiful. Yeah, we do have a comment, Poshti, too. France doing a particular scrape through a Payet's free kick. Mad thing. Do you think France looked strong enough last night to win it? No. I mean, Romania, strong defensively, uh, the best uh, defensive record of all the European teams that have qualified. But it's Romania after all. I guess France haven't had a competitive game in a while uh, and it, it did look a bit scrappy. So will they pick up that pace and they'll be more confident going forward? I don't know, because at the back they look shaky and Romania haven't exactly got uh, you know, uh, an amazing attacking presence. Paye's goal. Can I just have a little moment for Paye? My brother. He's like crying for I love you. You were crying, showing your emotion. Yeah, man. Like 11 years ago, 12, you're working in a, in a retail store as a, as a youth player. And was now you're, Yeah. And now you're what? Late 20s. Wait, say that again. Say one more time. He was working so... in retail like 11, 12 years ago as a youth player, earning money on the weekend. And now you have Paye banging in goals like that, smashing it in the Premier League. That lad, I have much, much respect for him. Me personally, I'm not impressed with the French side. I wasn't impressed with the English. I'm not impressed with anyone. So Just far. Just been watching football so far. You know what though? Croatia have been all right. Croatia all right, but I think the team that's going to impress everyone, you don't understand, you'll see us football. It's Spain. They're going to show people how to play football. Intricate passing. You don't need to have five, seven, nine touches on the ball. You need to play football, make it flew. You know what? Yes. Imagine you run the tap. Water was coming out, stop, game, stop. You wouldn't be happy, would you? You want the water to come out, flow, naturally. That is how I want football to be played. Well, you guys, you know, any French people out there, do you reckon France can do it on home turf? Nah. No? Nah, it's not Do at you all leave right. your comments if you do think they can? Let's move on to a nation that show a lot of passion, passion. Like too much passion through, and I want them to do well. The I actually want them to be England. I genuinely do, so people can understand how proud you should be to represent the country in which you were born and you're from. It is them dragons, mate, Wales. The Welsh are absolute, I mean, they absolutely went for it. City Mad 006 says, Wales qualifying for their first Euros and qualifying for their first major tournament since 1958 and a win against Slovakia 2-1 in their opening match and the fans hashtag scenes. I mean, Richard says mental. absolutely undeserved victory for the Welsh. Whether it's deserved or not, uh, personally, I looked at a you bag know, of players that are proud to represent that Welsh side. They're so proud that, to be Welsh. Like, did you see Ramsey? When they scored the winner, you would have thought Ramsey scored the winner. It's beautiful to see. Leave a comment and let us know what you think about Wales. Can they defeat England? Can they go through? Obviously, if they win the next game, they've actually qualified for the next stage. That would be incredible for Wales. And England, at the end of the day, the best third place team goes through as well. So if they were to win, surely they will qualify as well. Leave a comment and let us know who you think will actually get the victory. Or will it be Ikea? Will it end in a draw? I don't know. Leave a comment and let us know. Guess what, bro? What's up, bro? Well, I have a cheeky link again to deliver to the camera for Come the Copper fam. This summer, for the Euros, Copper 90 are teaming up with ITV to bring you a daily football show. The fans daily will bring why it all matters directly from the fans. Check this out. We've got people on every corner of the continent who are going to create a truly international fan-first perspective of the Euros. All right, anyway, it's time to move on to that part of the show where we address the millions. And millions of people that don't fight watching football, of people that are on <laughs> Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Instagram. In the, 
Is there, is there any like French? Like I'm trying, but my mind. No, not I'm not. I don't have a lot of French in me. It's that epic moment in the show that can only be described as in French. Timzy, you haven't appeared all day. Go on, say something. Test John Divers. Yes, John Divers. Get lost now. Well, I'm gonna read through the water guys that we want to give to someone. <laughs> Dog for TNK says, Poet, my man, supporting us little Sweden in the Euros, the whole nation, including his left hand, is honoured. Hashtag, what a guy. Salsa, OTT, Vita, Vooch, for reaching 100k subs on YouTube. It's taken me five years. I've dropped like one video every three months. That's what you call inconsistent brilliance. Next one, Vincent Borden. Me for shouting out separate in class <laughs> every time one of my teachers said it. Thank you. I do like that. Ryan Hasu, Ellie for sneaking into Zlatan's hotel. All oh, right, Elliot. Mm. You can't make it into the country. Sneaks into hotels. Yeah. Max has dang bar. Says Jamie Vardy for postponing his own transfer. <laughs> Hashtag separate. separate. I'm gonna have to though, give it to Vincent Borden what? for shouting separate in class every time one of his teachers said it. But I support Sweden. Yeah, but you've stated that already. I'm gonna Whoa. give it. I'm gonna give what a guy to Vincent. What well I point to the camera and say what, what a guy. guy. All right, what a guy. You win. Uh, please do leave more what a guys. Hashtag what a guy. Any excellent stuff has happened to you in your life. And next time, film the separate when you say it to your teacher. So, yeah, if you can get some <laughs> videos in saying separate and at us at Copper 90 either on Instagram you see or the Twitter. Boy? Did you see the boy on Twitter that, that swam for his ball in his, in his uh, yeah, school yeah, yeah, yeah. What a guy. We have to put you in. Not him as well. Point to the camera and say what, what a guy. guy. Separate, my <laughs> team. Separate. <laughs> Yes, Taylor! Oh, you man, what a guy! <laughs> what a guy! <laughs> what a guy! You guys, do you want to see myself and Poet live? Well, we are doing Play the Dome, Matthew. which we will be hosting. It's going to be an amazing event with world first live reactive 360 degree audio visual experience. Immerse fans in stylized world of football heaven. Launched by legendary former Wales international player Winnie Jones. Free to attend. Tickets available via ticketmaster.co.uk forward slash Hyundai Fando. So, click the link below. And then get your tickets for myself and Poe live on the 19th. Copper fam, get involved. Let's get some selfies in. Let's do this. Make sure you leave some comments all about England. Do you honestly feel Roy Hodgson is the right man for the job? And should be should Harry Kane be taking corners? Wales, will England defeat Wales or will we fall victim mm. to them as well, like the Russians? And make sure you speak about some of the violence and let us know alternatives for these really aggressive people. Yoga. Possibly down to the bloody dog. beach. Downward facing dog. That one. That one, isn't it? Boys, we're going to be seeing you much more during this Euros. I'm even hearing there's going to be a couple of comments below every week. So don't tell anyone I told you, but it might happen. So look out for random comments below dropping in your bloody inbox. You can stay here, mate. Hold that for me. I'm gone, man. So, uh, Sweden, love you. Do make sure you like, uh, share this video. Yeah, mum, I've got to stay in, in, in your for longer, innit? You're on your leaving comments with the gibberish. I loved it. And you were like... <laughs> so, yeah, mum, we're here till 12.45 now. This time... What I want you to do, right? If you've made it this far into the show, because sometimes you guys just log off at like, yeah. at like eight minutes. Well, we if you haven't, talking. now you get a special dance, <laughs> a special dance, yeah, a special dance. 